Before the early 1900s, people had seen nothing quite like Harry Houdini's magic act. His great escapes stunned audiences and made Houdini a name recognized around the world. His influence can still be felt in the magic world today. The clip you're about to watch focuses on Houdini at the height of his magical career. As you watch the clip for the first time, jot down the reasons you think Harry Houdini was so popular. 1905. Houdini was a genuine star now as he moved with his wife and mother into a 26-room townhouse in Harlem. He wasn't home for long. Determined to remain a headliner, he perfected the packing crate escape. A perfectly ordinary crate would be nailed shut and dropped into a body of water. What the crowds couldn't see and didn't suspect was the small pair of nail cutters Houdini carried with him. As the crate sank, he quickly cut enough nails to loosen a few of the boards. Still holding his breath, he would squeeze out through the gap he had made and then refix the loosened boards. And both Houdini and the box would emerge intact. It stunned the crowd every time. I mean, really what Houdini was doing, he was acting out uh, death and resurrection in the Egyptian myth. Wasn't Osiris uh, locked up in a box and thrown into the Nile? And it's not too far away from what Houdini was doing every day of his life. Another certain crowd pleaser was the straight jacket escape, which Houdini pioneered. He had become fascinated by straight jackets on a visit to an insane asylum. This publicity film shows how theatrical the act was. But the escape took very real study, strength, and concentration. At first, Harry did the escape hidden in a cabinet. But he soon realized the power of shedding the jacket in full view. The straitjacket escape was wonderful publicity for the rest of Harry's act. In every town, he could guarantee he'd fill every seat in the theater by first performing the straitjacket escape outside, free of charge, not on a stage, but suspended upside down above the crowd. Life stopped as huge numbers of people came to watch. In a number of towns, the police reported that pickpockets had a field day since everyone else was staring up at Houdini mesmerized. Still, the escape always thrilled the crowd. He would draw crowds of 50,000. 50,000 people are late to work and their bosses say, why? And they say, well, Houdini was you know, getting out of a straitjacket. And with his natural genius for publicity, Houdini often performed the act suspended from the local newspaper office, thus ensuring front page coverage. Another sensation was Houdini's escape from a milk can filled with water. Handcuffed, he would be submerged in the can and the lid would be locked on. He would say before he went into the milk can, when you see me take a breath and submerge my body beneath the water, just before the lid is locked on, I want all of you in the audience to draw that same breath. Hold it as long as you possibly can and when you are forced to let out that breath, at that point, you would commence drowning. Now, that's an enormously effective gimmick, because people in the audience would take their breath in, and then when they got blue in the face and had to let out, they'd say, 
The can is still sitting there and he hasn't budged. He must be drowning now unless he can do it much longer than I can. And then time would go by, another minute, another two minutes, another three minutes. They say, by now, he surely is drowning. And they empathize so strongly, people would be shouting in the end, let him out, let him out. And then suddenly, bang, he would bust through the front of the curtain, dripping wet and heaving his breath very, um, very deeply because uh, he'd wanted to give them the impression that he had just that second emerged from the... He might have been out for three minutes already. He would get a standing ovation on that each and every time without fail. In fact, Harry was really safely inside an inner can, and half rivets on the outer can allowed him to escape. He'd then sit backstage and read the local newspaper until he felt it was time to make his dramatic reappearance. But on at least one occasion, he ran the risk of being caught. The newspaper was being turned so loudly that one of his assistants came up to the side and said, Harry, turn the pages quieter, the audience can hear you. And Houdini said, I'm not finished yet. Tell the orchestra to play louder.